We got a battery from Go Kilowatt Hour. Let's open it up. And if you're a regular on the channel, I know what you're thinking. We've already reviewed this battery. All right, guys, so let's stop right here for a minute. I've actually made a mistake. I went into this video thinking that this was the same battery that they previously sent me. And as pointed out by a viewer, it really isn't. Because this is the original battery that they sent me. It's $249. And this is this battery, it's 329. So this is their smart battery with the smart Bluetooth BMS. And then this is their cheaper version that doesn't have the smart BMS. So it's really two different batteries. And I really was under the impression that this was just an updated fixed version of <laughs> that first one that they sent me because I didn't like the foam. They had foam inside of it, it was packing foam. I didn't like it and I thought they were kind of just updating that and maybe adding some extra features, but it's not. It's a different battery. It's a different model. It's a different price. So I've changed the video up a little bit and re-uploaded it so that there's no confusion and that everybody knows that this is actually a, uh, a different battery. All right, so I'm going to let the video continue from here. Now, apparently this one is supposed to have a Bluetooth BMS and as we can see, there is a QR code up here. Okay, it says to scan and download the Shizing BMS app. That would be a JBD BMS, so that's awesome. I've already got the app on my phone. I see the ID right here, so it's this battery. Check it out. It does have a JBD BMS. Uh, we're at 48% state of charge. Man, that's awesome, so already, we're off to a fantastic start. And then also, I didn't quite like the battery meter that they had on the old one because it was just based on voltage. This one is supposed to be better. Yeah, look at that. This one actually is reading the data off the BMS. That is awesome. So the state of charge is actually coming from the BMS. Oh, it even shows you the current that's being used. Okay, and the other thing that I wasn't super happy about with the other battery was the material that they used inside the battery to hold the cells. The first one that, I, that they sent me had just like packing foam in it. And I could tell that it was rattling around on the inside. This one sounds like it's not rattling around. All right, so we got the screws all loosened up. Let's open it up now. All right. So these guys 100% listened to my review of the first one. They have the right kind of foam in here now. This high density foam. That's what you should be using when building these batteries. <laughs> yeah, and they got it in there so well, I can't even get it out. So I'm not gonna keep struggling to try to get this out. If you saw the, the first video, it's just, it, these are pouch cells. You can even see this little display is a JBD LCD 03 display. All right, well, let's charge this guy up. All right, check this little screen out, guys. We're charging, and it's showing that the battery's charging here. It's showing 43 amps, showing the temperature and the voltage of the battery and it's showing our state of charge at 49 percent that's an awesome little screen i've never seen these uh, i didn't even know you could get these for like jbd bms's that's really neat all right so we'll just let this continue to charge up and then we'll do a capacity test all right so the battery is fully charged now we can look at the little screen here and as you can see we're at 100 uh, percent according to the screen and I've got the shunt all hooked up. So let's turn the inverter on. We've got the heater as the load down here. And we're currently pulling 55 amps. So we'll let that continue and I'll be back when it's complete.
so we are down to two percent we well we're almost about to be one percent there it is we're at one percent and it's saying the same thing on the little screen up here one percent Yep, so we've got 99.4 amp hours, 1,264 watt hours. I do believe we will pull full capacity on this battery. And here we go. There it is. 100 amp hours, 1,273 watt hours. We've got a little bit to go in the watt hours, but I'm sure we'll make it. And of course, we're saying 0% over here. Very nice. This screen is pretty awesome. All right, our inverter is complaining and that's usually where I turn it off. So we got 102 amp hours, uh, 1,293 watt hours. This battery is solid, guys. And this battery comes in at 22.6 pounds. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for the video. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you in the next one.